Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. So today we'll talk about database failover strategy. So let's first understand what is failover strategy. So suppose we have uh, traffic coming from many sources like a uh, mobile devices, laptop, tab, right? From many places, the traffic is coming to the internet and from internet, we are getting traffic into the our application server. And from that, we are getting read write request in our database. Suppose this database goes down. So how are we gonna overcome with it? So that is nothing called a failover strategy. We need it. So so this uh, our failover can be planned or unplanned suppose in planned we do some maintenance work or any patching or those many kind of things we, we can do in our database so that is called a planned maintenance and unplanned that called be as some failure happens so that is called a unplanned so in those scenario how we gonna overcome with it and still we can serve the traffic so for that we need a database failover strategy so we have a different kind of a strategy the so first one we have a cold standby strategy second one is a warm standby strategy strategy and third one is a hot standby strategy so let's check in the cold standby strategy so this is the first database failover strategy so in this the traffic is coming from many sources like tab mobile devices or laptop to the internet and from internet it is going to the application server and from the application server it is going to the primary database which is kind of a single db is running and same db will be serving to the read write request for all the users over the internet so this database server the all the read write request and and on periodic basis basically if the, after every three hours we are taking backups in a less expensive devices like it could be a tape or it could be amazon s3 because those are cheaper options so on those we will keep the backup files like backup file one backup file one two like that we will be going to keep it in every three hour of interval like it's kind of a periodic backup so based on our need we have to schedule the backup whenever we want it and in case suppose this database goes down then what we have have to do in this scenario we have to provision a new database or we if we have a database server already available then we have to take this backup file that backup file we have to restore into the database and we have to make up and running this particular db and we have to route this traffic from here to here so this database now can serve the read write request so this is called a cold standby so what are the benefits and disadvantages of this cold standby so first advantage it's a very cheap in cost because we are storing the backups in a tape and s3 those are very cheaper options right and what are the disadvantages so the disadvantage is like provisioning the new database and restoring the backup file from the tape or s3 could take a time the data size is huge and one more thing here is so we are taking the periodic backup right every three hour interval like we have taken the backup in 3 pm next backup will take a 6 pm and suppose at 4 pm database goes down so between these three to four the transaction can be lost right so that could be a, again a disadvantage so whenever we use a, this kind of a option so we have to prepare for a certain amount of dying time and the data loss for that so this is not a good option for the customer facing application but for internal maintenance within the company side we can still go with the cold standby option so next uh, failover strategy we have is a warm standby so in warm standby the traffics are coming from again from many devices that is coming to the internet and from internet it comes to the application server now again we have a single db running which will serve the read write request from this primary database but in this case we will do the replication to the one more database that is called a warm standby db here and the replication strategy again it could be a sync a sync and semi sync so this uh, replication strategy i have already discussed in uh, another video so i'll paste the link like how this replication happens in the database and in this scenario suppose this primary database goes down so this uh, warm database is already in sync in, with the primary so we can directly route the traffic from the primary to the warm db so what are the advantages and disadvantages of the warm standby so advantage is a backup database is ready to take over the primary database if goes down right and without the manual intervention in the cold standby the user need to upload the uh, data from s3 or uh, tape to the uh, secondary db and then we have to route the traffic right but here the if we do the replication we have a database ready we can just have to switch the traffic to the this warm standby so what is the disadvantage here so in case of we have to deal with the huge traffic and large data so in this case we have to use a very bigger uh, database right and if suppose this is a primary database of 
वन टी बी एंड अगेन वी हैव टू नीड अ बैकअप डी बी राइट काइंड ऑफ अ वन टी बी बट स्टिल वी कैन नॉट सर्व दी ऑल ट्रैफिक ऑफ द इंटरनेट राइट वी कैन नॉट डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द रीड एंड राइट दो काइंड ऑफ ऑपरेशन सो दिस इज द डिसएडवांटेजेज ऑफ द वॉर्म स्टैंड बाई सो थर्ड ऑप्शन वी हैव इज अ हॉट स्टैंड बाई सो लेट सी हाउ हॉट स्टैंड बाई वर्क सो वी गेटिंग द ट्रैफिक फ्रॉम दी टैब मोबाइल लैपटॉप राइट टू द इंटरनेट एंड अगेन इट्स कम्स टू दप्लीकेशन सर्वर सो नाउ वी हैव अ टू डेटा बेस हियर इज वन इज अ प्राइमरी डी बी एंड अगेन अ सेकंड वन इज द हॉट स्टैंड बाई डी बी सो वेन एवर एनी रीड राइट रिक्वेस्ट कम्स टू दी डेटा बेस इट विल गो टू दी बोथ दी डेटा बेस टू प्राइमरी एज वेल एज दी हॉट स्टैंड बाई सो वॉट आर दी एडवांटेजेस वी विल गेट इज लाइक इफ द प्राइमरी गोज डाउन राइट इफ दिस गोज डाउन वी कैन राउट ऑल द ट्रैफिक टू दी हॉट स्टैंड बाई डी बी राइट बिकॉज राइट एंड राइट आर कमिंग टू दी बोथ दी डी बी एंड वी कैन ऑल्सो डिस्ट्रीब्यूट दी रीड ऑपरेशन अमंग दिस डी बी एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट इट सर्व दी रीड रिक्वेस्ट is right from different geographic locations suppose this is in like india and this is like in us so according to that uh, the user are coming from the us will be served by this db and uh, from india if the user are coming from that could be served by this db right and further we can take the replica of this db is like that so this is all about database failover strategy so i hope you like the video please do subscribe my channel to get to know more about the system design topics